All right, so here's sort of uh, the second installment from a video I posted, um, I guess, of yesterday. So here's one of my latest four strings. Um, it's kind of a re take on a reverse violin type headstock. So it's a 25 inch scale. I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about it. it has a volume and a tone control here. Um, it's wired to a uh, piezo pickup that I've got uh, here under the bridge. And here's how she sounds acoustically. Uh, she's tuned to standard, just like the one yesterday. So I'm using the four middle strings off of a pack of six, um, and I've tuned them to standard. So you've got A, D, G, and B. And again, I think this is probably the most versatile um, way to string up a four string if you come from a traditional background of, of playing a traditional acoustic or electric guitar, uh, one with six strings. Um, you can you can make all the, the majority of all your chord shapes, your A minor, your F, C, even that G. Um, it may not sound as full on that G, but it's pretty close. Um, so C add nine sounds pretty good. Your D is okay, but essentially, I mean, it's it's just really versatile. Um, in that you can you can basically just sit down and play this thing almost just starting off. Um, again, if 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 you're uh, if you're musically inclined and you, you come at it, I, a lot of these guys they see these guitars and they think, oh, that's really cool. You know, I I play acoustic and everything, but they get a little scared because they go, ooh, it's only got four strings, or only it's it's only got three strings, or ooh, it's fretless, or oh, you know, I don't I don't know. Um, so they look, they think they look cool, but there's that kind of resistance there, that hesitance uh, because of that. So with this here, I think it's much simpler. And if you explain it to them, they kind of go, oh, well, here, let me try and play it. And from there, they, they get hooked. So I'll go ahead and uh, plug this thing in. I'm still using my LaGloria Cubana amp that I built. Um, I've got posted on Etsy. got a nice clean sound to it um, but so you can play just about anything on on this on this uh, guitar I was actually trying to figure out some uh, offspring earlier you know I mean you can you can play rock you can play saying yesterday um, you can actually use uh, if you think think of it as like a drop D you can still play those uh, bar chords um, so you know your F G and so on uh, just muting those bottom two strings um, so I was going to show you a little um, sound sample on this thing um, just playing around so I mean, it's real simple to kind of just hit a groove and just jam on it. Um, I mean, you can do that on a, on a you know traditional cigar box tuned to G, um, but it doesn't necessarily have the same resonance. It doesn't have the same sound per, per se, for, you know, depending on the tuning that you may be used to. 
and again, this might be just from you know the ears of somebody who, pl who plays guitar. Um, um, but even if it doesn't, it's it's still pretty simple to pick that up. I mean, I'm, I was only playing on you know pretty much uh, two strings, you know, and I was only really chording on two strings, um, very traditionally. So um, anyway, just give me a little affect that volume. Um, I'm pretty pleased with this guitar. Uh, with the F holes, how everything turned out. Um, so, yeah, um, as I say, uh, give me a shout out here on YouTube or um, Facebook. Let me know what you think. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys around. So.